Space exploration. It's useless. It's expensive. It's dangerous. And what does it even have to do with me? Why would I be even interested in space? Why should I care if people land on the moon or on Mars? I live here comfortably on Earth, on good old Earth. I like it here on this planet. It's a really good planet from what I can tell so far. I've been there once myself. So why should I care about human space exploration? Well, dear futurists, I'm sure that this is a question that everybody has heard at least once in life. And indeed, at first, it might seem like a very intelligent and hard question to answer. It might seem that this is a tough nut to crack. But look no further, because in this video, we are going to find out why space exploration is so important. Hello, dear futurists, welcome to Ultra Future, the channel where we're discussing all things future related. Make sure to like and subscribe and let's get started. On first sight, it seems that the skeptics are right. Space exploration is indeed not only very expensive, but also very hard. It requires the solving of some pretty difficult engineering challenges, and we dare to venture forth into a hostile environment that wants to kill us. So what's even the point? Well, the first big argument for space exploration is that if we don't go to space, and if we are going to stay on Earth forever, we are going to die out with a probability of 100%. It will be only a matter of time until the next big disaster will hit Earth. Pick an Armageddon doomsday scenario of your choice. Kill a virus, atomic war, mega asteroid impact, gamma ray burst, and so on and so forth. If we stay on Earth, our extinction risk is extremely high. But if we are spread out as a species onto multiple planets or moons and have self-sustaining bases or better yet cities on the moon, on Mars and on the moons of Jupiter or Saturn, well then basically we almost cannot go extinct since the probability of a simultaneous destruction of the entire solar system is basically non-existent. On top, the better space technologies we have learned to develop by developing ever better and more powerful rockets, by bringing down the costs of space travel, by sending better and faster drones out into the unknown, by landing people on other bodies of the solar system. By doing these things, we learn to master new technologies, which in the end might even save ourselves. For instance, if we don't have good space technologies, we will not be able to deflect a huge asteroid that might otherwise have hit the Earth. So in essence, the second big argument for space exploration is that many technologies have actually been developed by NASA in the 60s and 70s in the time of the Apollo missions where you wouldn't even suspect that they are technologies that were developed directly as a consequence of space exploration. Here is a list of spin-off technologies from NASA that came into existence as a result of space technology development. CMOS image sensors, so the small chip in your smartphone that allows you to take high resolution photos, memory foam, insulating foam, scratch resistant sunglasses and lenses, cordless vacuum cleaners, GPS, you know, the stuff that allows you to easily navigate to anywhere in any country, cochlear implants which allow some deaf people to hear again, cardiac pacemakers, baby formula, landmine removal devices, space blankets, light emitting diodes for medical therapies, artificial limbs, 3D food printing, firefighting equipment, shock absorbers for buildings, water purification, solar cells, OpenStack cloud platform and even FDA food safety standards. And this list is probably incomplete, but even so, you can see what an insane list of technologies stems either directly or indirectly from NASA and space exploration in general. Many people don't realize this, but many of the devices that we all use on a daily basis have at least some components that were developed as a consequence of space exploration. Yes, space exploration is difficult, it is hard, but that is why it forces us to develop new devices, forces us to overcome technical challenges, forces us to invent new machines, which sooner or later will trickle down to products that enhance our lives here on Earth. So every dollar invested into space exploration will sooner or later flow back tenfold into the economy by creating new products, new companies and new jobs and even helping to make the lives of people on this planet better and even helping to save lives. 
And that is why it is so important to know these things. This is not obvious stuff. The smartphone you buy or the GPS in your car does not come with a sticker that says developed as a result of space exploration. And therefore many people simply don't know about these things. And then they assume that rockets or space probes or astronauts walking on the moon do not have anything to do with them. But in fact, it has everything to do with them. Technology is always interconnected. And so it is extremely important that we continue pushing the boundaries. If in the future we are going to send humans to the moon again, building large bases on the moon where people will live and work. And then later we do the same with Mars, building large settlements on the red planet. Imagine the crazy future spin-off technologies that will be invented as a result of the technological innovation that will be necessary to achieve these things. There will be technologies invented as a result of these endeavors that will impact our lives in a positive way, which we cannot even imagine. So not only will the exploration of space help us to reduce the probability of human extinction, and not only does space exploration help to develop new technologies, jobs, businesses and products that help people in their everyday lives, but on top, space exploration helps us to better understand our place in the universe and where we come from. How did life develop on Earth? Is life abundant in the galaxy and in the universe? What might now seem irrelevant questions will become very, very relevant should we discover, thanks to very powerful space telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope, that life is actually extremely abundant in the universe. Imagine what impact this would have on us, on society as a whole. If people realize that we are not everything there is, but that we are only one of billions of civilizations in the universe, maybe that would help to put things into a bit of perspective. Imagine that at some point in the future, we would even get into contact with advanced alien races. What then? What impact would this have onto society? I personally think a good one, because then we might learn to stick together, see ourselves as one and the same species, see ourselves as humanity and not as many rivaling countries or nations. If we understand ourselves and where we come from and our place in the universe, society as a whole will benefit. New philosophical streams will emerge, new ways of thinking, and this might help to contribute lastly to a more peaceful living together. If we send a probe to Pluto, this might at first sound extremely far off, as if it has nothing to do with us. But the things we learn on that distant icy world can directly impact our understanding of chemistry, of biology and of how life might have formed on Earth. And the same is true for space exploration of the solar system and of the entire universe, but of course also for future human exploration of the solar system. The more we learn, the better our lives become, because the more our thinking will evolve, the more we will grow as a species and the more positively we will see ourselves as well. And let us not forget that a future in which we are traveling among the stars is probably a million times more interesting and exciting than a future in which we still live on Earth and the coolest thing will be a new app with which you can generate cool dance moves. That is why space exploration is so important, because in short, it will allow us to unlock our full potential as humanity. If you are a futurist like me with a fable for space exploration, then please like and subscribe since it would greatly help this new and small channel. And please consider supporting me on Patreon because that would allow me to make more and better videos. So then, dear futurists, see you in the future.